Yo, what's up, YouTube? So let's talk about Shenhe today. Um, she was recently revealed in the 2.4 live stream, the 2.4 event live stream, where she got some backstory and we got to see some of her abilities. And one of the most interesting things about her was the fact that she described herself as someone who had a homicidal nature, and she had to like bind that with some kind of red rope or something. And that was kind of funny. Um, there were some reactions on stream to it. Some people got really excited, but it turns out that is probably not the case. She probably does not have a homicidal nature, and it turns out that that's probably just a mistranslation. Uh, so let's get into it with this tweet thread by June at Summering uh, Low Underslash or something like that. Uh, I'll link her in the video description, and you can go check it out yourself. You can go see her uh, tweet uh her twitter account so just for your information uh, she identifies as she her was born in 2030 month that's not important but basically she is from taiwan taipei i assume because that's what it says here and she has um an education u.s east asian studies major so she's pretty pretty educated in terms of what the heck is going on with this translation stuff she probably knows chinese and she is probably clued into the cultural aspects of Chinese culture that I'm not because I am just pea brained whenever it comes to anything that comes to Chinese culture. Even though I do understand like a grade two level of Chinese, it's not exactly the best. So I kind of trust what she's saying here. It makes sense to me. So let's just get into it. Um, to start off, she says, my thoughts and ramblings on why I think the translation of Sha Xing as homicidal nature in Shen He's self introduction is a little misleading. So just for a bit of background, for those of you who don't know, Sha Xing is what is being translated as homicidal nature, as what she says here. Sha Xing is two characters in Chinese, Sha and Xing. Sha is a verb that says that means killing, to kill, and Xing is a noun that means heart. And basically what they've done here is translated as homicidal nature, which is a tiny bit of a stretch, but this isn't the first time this has happened in Genshin Impact. You take something from Chinese and then you translate into something that sounds cool in English, but may not be 100% correct. So let's continue. To preface, there's a few things you need to know about Shen He's character. Her story revolves around Tian, Tian Sha Gu Xing. I hope I pronounced that right. Gu Xing Ming, which they translated as Curse of Calamity. It's not a bad translation at all, but her story specifically refers to Chinese astrology. That was lost in translation so you see even though i can read this um chinese i have absolutely no idea what it means because as i said before i have a grade two level of chinese understanding and i it, all this chinese astrology mythology culture stuff basically just flies over my head entirely so it's great that we have someone like june who is able to explain this stuff to those of us with pea brain chinese culture sensibilities Tian Sha. Gu Xing Ming means a person is destined to be alone in their entire life, which I believe is mainly because the presence of two placements, Jie Sha and Gu. And as you can see, I have this pop up Chinese translator who, which helps me like pronounce these Chinese characters. This one is referred to in her character title, Gu, uh, Gu Chen. In Chinese, which was translated as lonesome transcendence in English. But this foregoes the reference to Chinese astrology. I think a more accurate translation would just be to leave in the Chinese character romanization of the character. So maybe something like loneliness born from Gu Chen, but obviously it's less catchy than lonesome transcendence. So yeah, basically what she's saying is that what what's probably likely happened is that. They took a Chinese name and translated literally into English, which happens a lot in Genshin Impact, not just with Chinese, but also also with Japanese. The, the most obvious case to me from that, like just off the top of my head, is probably Kazuha slash. Um, that's the alt, the name of the alt for Kazuha, and the reason for that is because the name of the alt is actually Kazuha, the name plus slash or blade. But Kazuha's name itself means something like Thousand Leaves. So the alt's name is actually Thousand Leaf Slash, but they chose to translate it directly into English as the Japanese uh, pronunciation. So it just turns into Kazuha Slash. 
Okay, let's continue. This lifelong loneliness is because they bring misfortune, suffering, and a tragic death to everyone around them. In Shin He's story, this is what they are referring to when they mention that she experienced a great suffering as a child, not because she for herself faced misfortune, but because she brought it to everyone else, and this implies that they abused her because they saw her as bad luck, another nuance that Transformation missed, and because of this, Bao Retainer had to take her in and isolate her away from humans. This is why it adds a painful irony that although she is from a family of exorcists, she was born with such a cruel fate and misfortune. Now the elephant in the room, the lion... <laughs> okay, just, just to stop there, I think it's kind of funny that Shinka is basically Naruto if the third Hokage wasn't such a dipshit. Um, I, or yeah, it was the third Hokage. So she had a bad, like, upbringing. She had a bad time as a kid because everybody th thought she was bringing them misfortune. Which, albeit, is probably true if we believe in the, her storyline. Uh, yeah, so he's basically Naruto, but female and hot and uh, got a better upbringing. Now the elephant in the room, the line, the Edipti urged me to bind my soul with red ropes to keep my homicidal bitch nature at, at bay. The disputed word is shasing in the Chinese original. It is not a common word and it is rather poetic. When you break it down individually, it is composed of sha, kill, and xing, heart. Which is why I understand where the homicidal nature comes from. Killing heart or heart that kills but uses the homicidal oh, is questionable. In its dictionary definition, homicide refers to just the act of people killing others, but the connotation of it and homicidal suggests that th it is done intentionally. The implication that it is done intentionally disregards Shenghe's He's story with Chinese astrology. Rather, she is using this term itself deprecatively and with poetry. Her heart is destined to do nothing but bring death and pain to people. And so to reflect this nuance, I think a better translation would be the Adepti urged me to bind my soul with red ropes to restrain the me who will eventually hurt everyone, which is why she then asks if you will stay at her side, even while she knowingly, while knowing that because of her destiny, you will face nothing but pain and suffering. Also, because of her isolation from the rest of humanity, from humanity, she grew unfamiliar with humans and she may come off as cold and unfriendly because she doesn't know how to interact with others, not because she wants to kill them. So she's like a combination of Naruto and Rei. There is also the layer of distrust with humans because of her childhood and past. And this also reveals how good-natured Shin He is. She has experienced abuse from parent, from humans to the point where she had to be separated from humanity, and this is only one, only because of her astrological fate, something out of her control. So, yeah, this this seems like it makes sense because there have already been characters that have been given this depiction by Mihoyo, and I'm not sure I like it. Like, I would actually prefer a more homicidal nature. <laughs> I would actually like a homicidal natured Shinhe compared to just another like, like to be frank, emo kid. Um, we already have the theme of like bring misfortune on not to others. It's like Bennett. Um, yeah, except nobody likes Bennett except for his buff. So I guess that's one thing Shin Ho has over him. And we also have Xiao who brings like like demons around with him or just attracts them, attracts them. So she goes out, will go out of her way to help them, blah, blah, blah. Viewing her story with all this in mind, her astral astrology fate also adds depth to why there are rumors and multiple stories on who this mysterious woman is. Is she someone who helps people, or is she an evil force who will bring suffering to everyone? So to summarize, I think the misleading translation of homicidal nature paints her as a completely different character. That is probably true, but Shen He's story is truly about tragedy and loneliness and her feelings of helplessness because of it. The admittance of Chinese astrology from her story in all forms also removes the nuance and context that you need to understand her character with. This context and understanding adds so much more complexity to her character. Her loneliness is not of her own volition. It was literally written in the stars. Yeah, so that's basically the entire tweet thread. But to be honest, I've got to say I'm a tiny bit disappointed that she is not actually just homicidal like i said before we already have quite a few characters who are kind of like that um and part of that disappointment is that i think there we're kind of seeing a trend with how 
miHoYo is designing characters now, right? Um, every character has to have some kind of redeeming point, which is fine, but I think they did it much better with how Tartaglia was described. We all we still know we know that he's still affiliated with the Fatui, but he's much more of a G Vegeta character than like, like, like say a Naruto, where they were they were like ostracized and beaten up and bullied while they were kids, but somehow they just turned into nice, respectable, uh, relatively respectful adults. We've already had that with Xiao. We've had that with um with Eula as well, where they're just kind of kooky and, you know, just well-adjusted, but with their own idiosyncrasies as they grow up. I w for once, I would just like to see someone who was bullied or maybe had not, maybe didn't have the best time when they were kids and they grew up and they became kind of shitty people. Um, I think it's possible. Like, we've already seen it with Tartaglia. He's still a bad guy, kind of, in the story. Uh, even though he does cooperate with the traveler at times, um, ultimately he still obeys the the wishes of uh, uh, the Cryo Archon. So we'll see what uh, Shen He's story ultimately turns out to be. Personally, I do think that June is right that this is probably closer to the correct translation than Homicidal Nature, but. If that is correct, I do wish that in the future we get a more straight up violent and um, let's say more aggressive character in terms of their personality and uh, desires. But that's just me. What do you guys think? Comment in the comment section or if you don't, then please leave a dislike or both. And if you dislike my content, then make sure to leave a dislike and comment in the section anyways. So yeah, that's pretty much does it for this video. I really, I really do think uh, Shen He was well designed and her story is probably going to be really interesting since she's part of the Archon Quest. And then most of the characters that have been part of the Archon Quest are interesting. So maybe, maybe she's wrong, maybe she's right, but it's, it's something interesting to think about. Anyways, see you guys.